Here we go. This is our 59 kilogram world championship match. Zelina Sidakova from Belarus is in the red and Lang Zhang of China is in the blue. Belarus against China. Sidakova against Zhang of China. Both had good days today. Forty seconds in, still scoreless. We're in round one of the gold medal final at 59 kilograms. Second finalist for China here. Their last one at 51 kilograms took a silver medal against uh, Jessica McDonald of Canada. So China in the finals a second time up against Belarus. About a minute 30 in, no score yet. 30 seconds remains now. I'm still going that way. If we're scoreless at the end of the two minute period, we will go to a clinch. And we will have a clinch here in our gold Going to the final. clinch. So Zalina Zinkova will go over and select a ball from the bucket. When it is opened up, there's a color inside. That color is red. The Belarus who remporte ce clinch aura donc l'avantage. 30 seconds to mark one point with the possession of the First period is going to the clinch. Belarus gets the leg in the red. And once her hands touch in behind, she will have 30 seconds in which to score. There we go. She does not score. Point to Belarus. Oh, we'll have to worry about that the next time the coach gets close because that point scored very quickly by Sidakova and she takes the first period. Five seconds, the train has been for Sidakova to remporter the clinch. Sidakova in the corner, leads the first period. On the clinch, gets the point. These athletes winning here are going to set the tone for the rest of the quadrennium. Many of them were in the Olympics, but some were not. We have all seven weights instead of the four that were done. In. These world championships are hard to come by. Sidakova has an opportunity here. First period, Sidakova on the clinch, Zhang of China. Nice. Point for Sidakova on the defensive hip toss. On the end. Last second in the zone, Sidakova turns her around and Zhang lands out of bounds first. First point goes to Sidakova. Slick move on the edge, very dangerous. And now she's at half a half a period away from being a world champion. China will come hard. 
saying she's got she's got to score or else this thing's over. Doing a lot of upper body here. Now she gets in on a leg shot. Sidakova blocks. The front headlock position. They bring them back to their feet. Some calling the action. Standing Sidakova holding on that front front position for only five seconds. As that is the longest you're allowed to hold it up. They will call you standing. We're down to 35 seconds remaining in the round. Jack Latin will have to score to force a tie break round. Contra going to foul. 30 seconds to go. If Zhang wants to stay alive, she might have to score. Break the action. 25 seconds to go. 25 seconds to go. Sidakova 1-0 over Zhang. World Championship Final. Shot by China. Zhang, she's in there pretty deep. Battling hard as single leg. Got it up. Take down here. Looks like she's getting it. And she will score. Eight seconds to go, and we're going to have a third period. And now has the advantage here with only two seconds remaining in this round. But I, so we will have a tie break round on Matt B for our world championship at 59 kilograms. La chinoise ici qui marque un point avec une dizaine de secondes à faire avant la fin de la période et qui force la tenue de troisième période et Sinekova won the first round, Chan won the second. We have a tie break round, and the winner of this round will be your world champion at 59 kilograms. Shidakova remporte la première période. Zhang contre-attaque, remporte la deuxième, forçant ce, ce bris d'égalité. La gagnante de cette période sera couronnée championne du monde. Third period. Sidakova wins the first, Zhang wins the second. First was a clinch. Second went to a late takedown by Zhang, a one to one. She scored the last point with eight seconds to go. So this one's going to be for all the marbles. World title on the on the table here. Important to score first, but as uh, Zhang proved in the last period, it's more important to score second. If it's just one pointers. What? Belarus may have gotten just a little too defensive that period. But now one of them has to go out and take it. We're already almost at the halfway point of this period. We're 30. We're about 25 seconds from a ball pull here. One of these athletes probably needs to go out there and take a little risk. Who wants it? Referee breaks him. Come on, let's pick it up. Is there a shot left here? Ten seconds to go. And it will be a ball pull, I would be. If there's no score, we will go to a clinch. Odds are in favor of it being blue. Let's see. The color is blue. Blue. So that means that Jack Lan will take. The clinch position, which is a single leg with the head. China the will have the attempt the here on the clinch. The will blow. Alors la chinoise ici qui aura un avantage marqué pour ce bris d'égalité et le titre. China in, grabs and goes. 
Trying to finish now, Quick only 30 finish. seconds to do so. They break it. And one, one point, point given yeah. to Zhang Lan. Zhang Lan. Le point ira à Zhang Lan de la chaîne. Oh, we're going to have the brick come out. Had the count on that. And the challenge brick is in. So we will review the action. L'entraîneur de la Bélarussie qui ici essaie de lancer la brique du challenge en vidéo. Les officiels iront donc en reprise de vidéo pour regarder les dernières actions. Okay, we're all watching the video here. A very good angle. The referee's in the way the whole way. Point was scored. So one point is scored and an additional point. So that means your world champion at the 59 kilograms representing China is Shan Lan.